So, obviously, this is the one lopsided, quote-unquote, point spread of these yes. th four wildcard games. Mm -hmm. Every sign points to the home team, the Bears. The, the, this opened at minus four and a half. Bears mm -hmm. minus four and a half and got bet all the way up to minus six. So, the betting public is screaming, Bears, Bears, Bears. As Jenny points out, they are number one easily in points allowed in the National Football League. And that young quarterback of theirs, he has shocked me in one aspect. He is proving to be almost as good a runner as Lamar Jackson with the football. And it's, it's really balanced out his game. It's made him much more dangerous than if he just hung in the pocket and threw it because I still don't think he's that good of a thrower of the football, mm -hmm. especially under any kind of pressure. But I believe the new Eagles have turned back into the old Eagles. The new Eagles are now quarterbacked by the real St. Nick, as in Nick Foles, mm -hmm. to whom they have built a shrine in their locker room, thanks to Kyle Long and, uh, not Kyle Long, uh, uh, Chris Long, Chris Long. And, yeah, Chris Long and Fletcher Cox. They love this quarterback because this quarterback operates their offense better than your quarterback operates their offense. Mm -hmm. Nick Foles is just better at this than Carson Wentz is at this. Nick Foles is more battle-tested than Carson Wentz has been because, again, Carson Wentz has still played no playoff snaps for this team, right? So all of a sudden, right on schedule, they became the most dangerous team left in the playoffs because they're, they've turned back into the defending champs. And I believe they're going to win this game. I think it'll be low scoring because the Eagles' defense is starting to click again. And I love their front seven. I didn't used to love their back four, but it's started to find its rhythm, find itself. They're rushing the passer like they're capable of. I got it 17 to 14, Nick Foles over Trubisky, in part because I still don't trust Trubisky on this stage. And I don't think you do either on, on this stage because he hasn't been on this stage. The weather's for Chicago in January, it's not, it's supposed to be not bad. It's a little windy, but it's like high 30s, mid 30s, yeah. so it's okay. Yeah. It's not that bad. And the point is that that offensive line for the Eagles. It's really good. It hasn't played to its level until the last couple of weeks. It seems to like to protect Nick Foles. Right. And when I look across the, the line, Jason Peters and Kelsey and that Brandon Brooks might be the best of all at the right, right. guard. Mm -hmm. And then Lane Johnson. That Listen, when they're right, that could be the oh, best Oh, now you like Lane line. Johnson, huh? Well, I mean, I can't. I can't argue with his pr productivity. Yeah. I don't like what he says a lot of times. Yeah, how he choked I, I like how he out. plays. And listen, you, you say they can't run the ball. With Josh Adams and Darren Sproles has kind of reinvented yeah, in yeah. the last couple he of weeks. Well. And, and I've always liked Wendell Smallwood. I think he's pretty good. He gives you an honest day's work. I think they can figure out how to run the ball enough. And Nick Foles is spreading it. Over the last three games that they have won, Alshon's caught 16 for 301. Carson Wentz couldn't connect with Alshon like that. He could connect with Zach Ertz, who is a security blanket. Mm -hmm. And Zach's caught 18 balls over the last three games, but just for 147 yards. So they have a more balanced attack. I just think they're better than the Bears. All said, they're a better football team. And if Nick Foles is turning back into that quarterback we saw in the playoffs last year, Good luck to everybody who plays him. I think this game could look a little more like the Atlanta game, which was the first round game at Philly last mm -hmm. year. It was more of a cold weather game. It was, right. like it was 15 to 10. Right. So it could be more like that. But I just think this team believes in Nick Foles in ways. It, 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 I know it loves Carson Wentz. I just don't think it believes in Carson Wentz the way it believes in Nick Foles. I got the upset here that I don't think will really look like that big of an upset. Really? I like the Bears. I love their defense. Last four games, giving up 10 points a game. Number one scoring defense, number one in takeaways. And the thing is that when you look back at uh, great Bears defense, you look at the Bears defense of 85, 86, not saying that they're, they're that historically great. Or you look at the Bears defense that led this team to a Super Bowl, Peanut Tillman, Erlacher, Briggs. The one thing that they did do, not only did they take the ball away and set their offense up on short fields, but they turned them into points themselves. They got scooping scores. They got pick sixes. And this is what this defense does. So... Uh, now, Eddie Jackson, he's been out the last couple of weeks. We don't know if he's going to yep. play. I don't, I don't know. We're going to see what... It, it doesn't sound good. Great. Yeah. yeah, you're exactly right. But Khalil Mack mm. and, Ka and Khalil Mack, I back. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Still saying I got to like that. Oh, Khalil Mack, I back. You like Khalil? Mm. Woo! Let's go. He in the right place. Mm. Monster. He a, he a monster. 
of the Midway. Mm. Ooh, Nick Foles, you mm. in a heap of trouble. Mm. And I like Nick Foles, Skip Baylor. Nick Foles won me a lot last year. Mm. Won me a lot last year. He beat Tom Brady in the Super Bowl. I, I didn't like that, Skip. Mm. I didn't like. I didn't like. I didn't like that Nick Foles did that. Mm. I didn't like that. No, I he scored forty-one smile points against Bill Belichick. Don't do wow. this, Skip. Skip. Wow. What, whoa. Oh. What, why are you talking? It's my. Is it my turn, Jenny? I'm going to do my turn. Thank he, you. he ran Jenny's team off the field. Ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. That did happen. Yeah, that happened. All of. <laughs> And I agree with you. I don't love Trubisky because the game against the Rams, they were winning. They were. But he kept putting the Rams back in the game by throwing interceptions. He did. You can't do that come playoff time. I believe they run the ball with Howard. They run the ball with Cohen. And he has, and, 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 and Trubisky, as you mentioned, he has better legs than you think. He does. Yeah. He, he does. He, he really he's does. He's a big kid. Too. Yes. Yeah. And he's a, he's a, an above average. And sometimes I think we look at him because he's wild. He can't run. Yeah, he can. Mm -hmm. And you better have you better yeah. account for his legs like mm -hmm. you would a Lamar Jackson, like you would a Russell Wilson, or some of these guys, mm -hmm. a Cam Newton, because when he escapes the pocket, mm -hmm. yeah, he can throw the ball, but he can pick up 10, 15 yards in a hurry. Mm -hmm. I like this. And the crowd's going to be electric. Skip. This is the first home playoff game. Since that championship game, they lost to Green Bay. Yep. So you know how the crowd's going to be in a frenzy. Mm. They need to give them something early to cheer about mm. and keep this crowd into the game. Mm. I like the Bears at home. I think it's going to be a close game. Like you said, mm -hmm. you got 17-14. Mm -hmm. I got 2017 Bears because I think they limit. It's not like the Eagles run. The, they don't have a dominant run game to begin with. Just, they do it by committee. Mm. I think the Bears shut that off, pin their ears back with mm -hmm. Mac Hicks. Floyd, I think they get after Nick Boys, uh, mm -hmm. Nick Flo, uh, uh, Nick mm -hmm. Bowles, mm -hmm. force him into a turnover or two, and they win a very hard fought, close ball game. 2017, Bears mm -hmm. move on. Mm -hmm. What if the Eagles win? Then what? Nick Foles, what first way? of all, what, what, Nick what, Foles. What are you going to do with Nick Foles then? Nick Foles is That's going tough. to be the starter mm -hmm. as long as the Eagles are in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. That's what's it's going to happen. Not be. What, what if, I know. dare I say, what if they get on a run and go win another Super Bowl with Nick Foles? Is Nick, it possible? It's Nick possible, Foles sir. is going to be the starter. Okay, and then what? You're going to let him go after two yep. straight Super Bowls? Let Bowl? him go! Really? <laughs> with huh. the shrine there? I don't know. Yeah. Hey. Just tear that Like Teddy Pendergrass said, yeah. I think I got to let it go. Yeah. They're going to let him go, Skip. You got you to walk it to him. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Limp it to him. I don't know about limp Whatever. Him. It sounds like Limpet to him is healthy right now, and they're just saying. No, yeah, he's ball. not healthy. Back, you yeah. know, back's coming. Yeah, go. That's a good excuse. You know, yeah, got back, that little back went out. Transverse process. Yeah, fracture. They, yeah, the yeah. thing they, they micro fracture. They link. They yeah. linger. They can linger. They think they can see it. You had back issues. They're not sure. I, I had, had a facet issue of, one time. Yeah, Man, I had to get an epidural. Facets are terrible. Yeah, epidurals are no fun. Yeah, but I had to get one. Yeah. So them back that come and go had me walking side with like I had scoliosis. Yep, I got you. Well, it sounds like Carson Wentz is pretty healthy, but they're just saying. And Nick, we try. Let's see what Nick does this weekend, and then we'll we'll debate. Yeah, yes. Next for Carson. You, you, no, what he's trying, what he's trying to do, he's always trying, trying to, to sow dissension. Anything. Yeah, you are. I, oh, I didn't right. try. He's doing it himself. No, no, he did no. it. I didn't hold do on, it. Tell about, tell about, I, I didn't throw a single pass for the Eagles. Tell about, tell about, you <laughs> say, I don't like the Eagles. Tell about, tell about, you say you don't like to do hypothetical. Yeah. What? Just let's just say hypothetically. Uh. Nick Foles it just wins. Looks like it's got real possibilities See, here. You like how I, I can tell you right now, the most confident team of every team in the playoffs, I will bet you, is this team. You know what? They're the defending champs, and they got it back. You like hypotheticals yeah. if it can sow dissension in somebody's locker room yeah. that you don't like. That's what you. That's what you love hypothetical. I don't fear Philly because we already beat them twice, but we beat Carson Wentz. If you told me that somehow it was going to come full circle back to a. NFC Championship game at Jerry World, and it was Nick Foles, a quarterback, I would not why, love my chances. Why would they play an NFC Championship game at Jerry World when the Cowboys are going to get beat on Saturday night? <sighs> oh, yeah, we can't even go there. I'm going to stop you guys now. Face the do? Yeah, I'm going to stop you. No. We're not going to get the do in. we got a couple more hours to debate on the do. All right, oh, remember when good. LeBron said recently yeah, that I remember. You know, he's the GOAT? Well, yeah. a few people don't, uh, don't like what he's saying, including Danny Ainge. He went after LeBron, and we'll tell you exactly